Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the improper integral 1 over x to the n power, with n being somewhere between 1 and 2. We've already seen that if we have a function 1 over x dx, and we take the integral of that and evaluate it from 1 to infinity, we can see that this will then indeed diverge. But if we take the integral 1 over x squared dx and we integrate it, and we evaluate it from 1 to infinity, we do get a convergence and the limit or the, the total sum of that, the total integral of that, is equal to 1. So what happens when the exponent is somewhere between 1 and 2, like 1.5 or 1.1? What happens? And so it's kind of interesting to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and do that. So this integral can be rewritten as follows. It's the integral from 1 to infinity of x to the minus 1.5 dx. And so when we integrate, we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So this becomes x to the minus 0.5 divided by minus 0.5, evaluated from 1 to infinity. And rewriting that a little bit, uh, let's see here, this is the same as writing a negative 2 in the numerator, negative 2 divided by x to the 1 half power, which is basically the square root of x, and we evaluate that from 1 to infinity. When we plug in the upper limit, we get minus 2 divided by infinity to 1 half power, and of course, anything over one infinity is equal to 0, and even if it's infinity to 1 half power, the denominator is still infinity, so that come, becomes 0. Minus, minus 2 divided by, when I plug in the lower limit, which is the square root of 1. And the square root of 1, of course, is equal to 1. The negative times the negative becomes positive, and this is equal to 2. So that means that when we evaluate that integral, we do indeed get 2. What about if x is 1.1? Notice as the exponent gets closer and closer to 1, the assumption is at some point it's no longer going to converge. The question is at what point is that? So let's try 1.1 and see what happens. So this can then be integrated to be, uh, let's see, we'll first rewrite it. So this becomes x to the minus 1.1 power times dx. So we add 1 to the exponent. This becomes x to the 0.1 power, or minus 0.1. Let me rewrite that. Oop, there we go. Minus 0.1 divided by the new exponent, minus 0.1, and evaluate that from 1 to infinity. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place this in the numerator. That becomes a negative 10 divided by x to the 0.1 power. And now we can go ahead and evaluate that from 1 to infinity. When we plug in the upper limit, we get minus 10 divided by infinity to the 0.1 power minus a minus 10 divided by, and now when we plug in the lower limit, we get 1 to the 0.1 power. So what's 1 to the 0.1 power? Well, by definition, 1 raised to any exponent that's greater than 0 will always equal 1. So we get 1 in the denominator, this negative cancels out this negative, and we get 10. So you can see that the integral, which is basically the area underneath this curve, 1 over x to the 1.1, does become larger and larger as the exponent gets closer and closer to 1. And only in the limit, as this exponent reaches 1, will the total integral go to infinity. But anything, anything larger than 1, x, for example, x to the 1.0000001, still will converge, will not diverge, and we will be able to find that integral and evaluate it from 1 to infinity. So only when, when the exponent does become equal to 1, then it no longer converges. And that would be the example that we have over here. So, kind of interesting to take a look at it in that respect. And that's how it's done. 